All right, so our second example. Jill is riding a Ferris wheel that starts on the ground. She's starting on the ground, goes up to the top, measures a height of 10 meters. That takes four minutes to get there. And then goes back down again. Okay, so we want to write an equation which models her her height off the ground during her ride. She gets on and off at the bottom. Okay, so she's going to start at the very bottom, so a height of zero. She's going to go up to a height of 10 meters and then back down to a height of zero. So we want to model this as a circular function. Again, Ferris wheel, a wheel, a round thing, circular function. You just need to decide which one to use. So sine, cosine, or tangent. So this is a really smooth pattern. There's no asymptotes, so we know not to use tan. We might use sine, we might use cos. So let's have a little bit of a think about that. So, and I've got the key information here. So the Ferris wheel starts on the ground, measures a height of 10 meters from the top, and took four minutes to get there. So because we start on the ground, and then go up, and then back down again, it shouldn't have a little tail looking up. Should be flat. Again. Okay. So have a think about what graph is that? It starts low, gets to its median, then top, median, and back down again. So if you said this is the negative cos graph, you would be correct. So our basic shape is going to be negative cos. Okay. Now the amplitude. That's me asking, essentially, from that distance there, from the median, what's the distance to the top and the bottom? So if we have to think about it, we start at 0 meters and go up to 10 meters. Okay. So in thinking about this, we're actually kind of going to include the median in our calculation to figure out the amplitude. Because the median is going to occur halfway in between. So that means the median is going to be 5 meters. Okay, So I know that I've already got negative cos of some stuff. I know I'm going to have a plus 5 at the end. Okay, Because our median has to be 5 because that's halfway between 0 and 10. Now, furthermore from that, that distance 5, that also makes the amplitude 5. That's not necessarily always going to be the case, but because it's starting on the ground, the median and the amplitude will be the same. So that means I can pop a 5 in there, because that's going to be the distance between the median. And then having a think about the period. So we'll just continue on drawing on this graph. So if I start down here at 0 and I get up to 10, it took 4 minutes to get there. So that means it's going to take another 4 minutes to get back down, meaning it's going to take a total of 8 minutes. So the period I need to be 8 minutes. So that means I need to figure out what's going to be my n so that I can get a period of 8 minutes. So I know that I want my period to be 8, and the period is of the form 2 pi over n, so I need to solve this equation for n. So I can do that by multiplying on both sides by n. That will give me 8n is equal to 2 pi, and then I would divide by 8, so I get that n is 2 pi over 8, which of course simplifies to n just being pi over 4. Often our n's are going to have pi's so that when we plug it in, they end up cancelling out and our units just end up being a number without a pi in them. So my n needs to be pi on 4. So that means in here I've got pi over 4. Um, let's use t for time again. And that's our equation. Okay, So we started with figuring out the basic shape to figure out what type whether it's sine or cos. Also from that, we figured out that it had to be a negative because it starts at the bottom and then goes up. Using a little bit of 
arithmetic to figure out the amplitude and the period. So let's write a clear answer at the end. Well then h of t is equal to negative 5 cos, we like to write it as pi t over 4, plus 5. And that's going to model her path around the ferris wheel. So starting at the bottom, going up to the top, and back down again. Again, if she wrote it more than once, that pattern would repeat. Um, that's what this equation does. That's modeling um, something a little bit different. When we're not given the equation, we have the scenario to get to the equation. So start by doing a little bit of a sketch and then go from there.